Charles Wright. Substitute senior, number six, Larry Gold. And sophomore, number seven, Mia Macias. And the starting lineup, left fielder, senior, number five, Delilah De Los Santos. Pitcher, senior, number one, Iris Jimenez. Shortstop, senior, number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Third base, junior, number 12, Ja'Kayla Plummer. Second baseman, senior, number 10, Demaya Curtis. Catcher, sophomore, number 14, Destiny Ruffin. First baseman, senior, number 8, Haley Alvarez. Left fielder, senior, number 9, Katrina Basta. And center fielder, sophomore, number 2, Jamie Gomez. The Mustangs are coached by assistant coaches Coach Davis and Coach Nava and head coach by Coach Solov. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats as we honor today's game with the playing of our national anthem. Leading off for the Panthers, number one, junior, Delia Robles.
Up to the plate, number four, Junior, Emma Holmes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Texas baseball here. Beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky this evening. Sun has started to set. Two outs underway here in the top of the first between Pflugerville Panthers visiting the Manor Mustangs here. Delilah Robles and Emma Holmes starting off with two outs as that one's lined foul. Appreciate you spending your time with us on Vibe Live here this Friday evening between Maynard Mustangs and Pflugerville Panthers. Let's get into some pregame action here. Is that one a shot to left field? Just for a single. McKenna Ross. Back to the play, number 25, freshman Lauren Jackson. Lauren Jackson steps up now for the Pflugerville Panthers, who got up to a shaky start, losing nine straight at one point. Currently on a three-game winning streak and winning five of their last six, only loss coming to district-leading Elgin Wildcats. And that'll end the inning. Quick one, two, three, one left on for visiting Panthers. Maynard comes up to the to the plate next, starting with Didi Sorellis. We're going to take a quick break and come back for their preview. Back here on the campus of Maynard Mustangs at Maynard High School. Maynard comes into this one 6 and 11 on the year, 2 and 3 in district play. One thing's for sure when you're watching a Maynard softball game, runs will be scored. 8 runs, 4, and 11 runs against on the season. Currently just sitting at 1 and 5 at home, their last game 
a shootout, 18 to 13, against Cedar Creek. Visiting Panthers, losing nine straight at one point, coming in five of six. They're sitting second in the district, right behind the aforementioned Elgin Wildcats. Panthers two and three away from home this season. They're kind of the opposite of the Mustangs. Only four runs on offense, but good pitching, good defense. Only giving up five runs a game. That's led to a lot of close games. Seven games, in fact, of the 21 have been within two runs. And they've struggled in those, just two and five. Last game they were able to pull out a three-run victory. That came at Bass Drop on Tuesday. Leading up for the Mayor Mustangs, left fielder, senior number five, Delilah De Los Santos. Delilah De Los Santos going to lead us off here, bottom first. Takes first pitch strike. Swing at strike two. De Los Santos hitting 229 this year and 41 plate appearances. A couple triples, though, only triples on the team as that one gets by. That one hit foul right over the top of the bleachers. And count sitting at 0-2. De Los Santos hanging in there. And reaches for that one. Strike three. Quick out for pitcher Delilah Robles. Coming up to the plate, our pitcher, senior number one, Iris Jimenez. Pitcher against pitcher here. Number one versus number one as well. Battle of positions, battle of jersey numbers. And in there for strike two. Just catching a bit of the outside corner. Jimena is hitting 361 this year and her 44 plate appearances. That one just a bit low. That one up high. Two batters, two strikeouts. Batting 
Batting third, our shortstop senior, number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Mache. If you want to start off things strong, this is where the power is going to come from. Rodriguez Mache. Almost having half of the team's home runs this year, six out of the 13. As she takes strike one there. This one popped up, just gets out of the outfield. And a near collision as the second baseman comes up with it for three outs. A one, two, three inning. We'll come back for the bottom of the second here. Excuse me, bottom of the top of the second. off for the Panthers, number seven senior Ambrosia Palomo. Ambrosia Paloma up to bat. Jimenez trying to go another one, two, three, misses low there. One ripped foul left side. Jimenez, the most used pitcher for the Mustangs, appearing in 12 games this season. ERA of 7.52. That one just misses inside. Only one and six here on the season. Also, seeing some action as that one is popped into shallow right. Another near collision. And again, second baseman delivers. As Demaya Curtis. Up to the plate, number 20 junior, Tori Zuniga. Tori Zuniga up now. Also, for the Mustangs, you'll see Haley Alvarez sometimes. Jimenez delivers first strike. Tried to lay down the bunt. Goes backwards instead of forwards.
Now it's sitting at 0 and 2. Just the one out here. This one lines straight back to Jimenez. That'll bring up Brooklyn Smith. Coming up to the plate, number six, sophomore, Brooklyn Smith. First pitch, no play at second. Smith thrown out at first for two outs. Batting fourth, number 10, freshman Abby Lemons. Tori Zoniga advances to second. That one low to Abby Lemons. Lemons struggling this year. Just two hits. All season. Takes a crack at the second pitch there and will be thrown out from short. That'll be another complete inning. Mainer coming up bottom of the second after the break. Stay tuned on Vipe Live. For the Mustangs, third baseman, junior number 12, Ja'Kayla Plummer. Ja'Kayla Plummer up to bat for the Mustangs. Takes strike one. Hitting 350, fouls this one back. Couple of home runs, couple of doubles. That one just missing high. One and two the count. Still sitting at no outs here in the bottom of the second. Oh 
Plummer chasing that one, coming right back to us. And if the windows were open, may have reached out and grabbed that one. There wasn't that fence in the way. One-two pitch catches the outside corner, and Plummer will head back to the dugout. One out on the board. Set at the beginning, both of these teams scoring runs, especially Mainer games. But the defense of Up next for the most mainly the pitching. Base, number ten, Demaya Curtis. The pitching of Pflugerville has been story thus far. Four batters, three strikeouts, and another strike there to Demaya Curtis. This one fouled back. Robles. With an impressive 2.67 ERA in four appearances, a couple of wins under her belt, sitting here at 0-2. That one missing high. Robley sets and fires another foul. Good job by Curtis hanging in there. It's always a little nerve wracking when you see a few of your teammates go down in strikeout fashion ahead of you. She's hanging in there tough. One two pitch, missing outside. And chasing that one outside. Gets her swinging. Another strikeout four for five in strikeouts. And up to the plate, catcher number 14, Destiny Ruffin. Destiny Ruffin up to the plate, looks at strike one. And Robles with the control. Dealing so far here in the first two innings. Two and one the count. That one catching outside. Two and two. Chance to strike out the side here.
And Ruffin, I believe, the first pitcher to get to th three balls. Really disciplined at the plate here. Full count. And swings and misses at that one. Struck out the side, did Robles. And that's going to retire the side with the Panthers zero, our Manor Mustangs zero. Ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to visit our concession stands located on the third base side of the stadium. These proceeds will go to the Manor Mustangs softball team. So please grab your refreshments whenever you can. Coming up to the top of the third, a couple of words from our sponsors. Toothpaste. I hope you used it. And by your homework. Have you done it lately? We'll be back to the top of the third after this. Leading off with the Panthers, number 13, sophomore, Zania Reese. Back here, top of the third. Zania Reese looks at strike one. Heard from the local sponsors, Toothpaste and Homework. We'd like to thank our sponsors here at Vipe Live, Academy Sports and Outdoors. As that one slapped short, good knockdown. Just beating the throw, though, is Reese. Top of the lineup now with Delilah Robles. Again, I'd like to thank Academy Sports and Outdoors. We can find your hottest styles from the top name brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, Bands, and get all your sports equipment for all your sporting needs at Academy sports and outdoor stores or online at academy.com
Reese Steel in second. And looking for third is that one with a nasty backspin on it will roll foul. This one smacked up high, and great catch. That's Ja'Kayla Plummer out there on third base. And Reese going back and forth whether or not she wanted to take third. Out to play number four, junior, Emma Holmes. Emma Holmes up now. Oh, for one on the night. That one inside for ball one. Boy, and Reese looks dangerous out there every single pitch. Daring a throw. Three and over to Holmes. And four straight pitches will lead to a walk. Panthers looking threatening now. McKenna Ross now with some base runners. First time we've had multiple base runners for the Panthers. And first pitch is ripped to short. Gets the force out at third. Freshman Lauren Jackson. Lauren Jackson up to the plate now. A lot better position for the Mustangs, having two outs. Runners still at first and second. And also, you get the speedster in Reese out. Pass ball. Boy. Now you have runners at second and third. That one low, another pass ball. Looked to be the same spot. No play at the plate, though, as Holmes will score. And Jimena is in some trouble for the first time tonight. Another runner. Staring down the barrel at third. And you're 2 0 to Jackson. And one ripped foul. About a foot and a half left of third base. Another one, it'll be an instant replay. Right over to her coach, who just, my ears did not mistake me, called her the birthday girl, so I'd like to wish Lauren Jackson happy birthday. Chance to give her team a gift of an extra run. Two and two, with two outs. Jimenez deals, that one straight to third on a one hopper. And Ja'Kayla Plummer knocks that down and throws her out at first. But the Panthers do get one. 
as we go to the bottom of the third here on Vibe Live. Stay tuned. Leading off for the Mayor Mustangs, first baseman, number eight, Haley Alvarez. Bottom of the third, Manor getting a chance to answer back. Haley Alvarez up first as Robles misses outside. Doesn't miss that time. Perfect pitch, leads to one and one. Five of six out so far have been strikeouts. Getting her again, working the outside corner on a lot of pitches here. Usually gets batters to look at one and then they reach for the second. That one too high. Two and two the count. Good patience there from Alvarez. That's usually the one they reach at. Full count pitch. Swings and misses. Strikeout number six. for the Mustangs. Number nine, Katrina Basta. Here is Katrina Basta. Trying to break the streak. Looks at strike one there. Seems a lot of at-bats start out with that first pitch strike right down the middle, and there's strike two, almost the exact same pitch. <laughs> Bro, 
Robles sets, fires. A little too high for the man behind the plate as he gestures to Robles that that pitch was too high. That one swung on and missed again. Out number two here in the bottom of the third. Batting number two, sophomore Jamie Gomez. Up next here is Jamie Gomez. Finish out lineup. That one tipped off the catcher's head. That's why they make you wear helmets. Another at bat, another first pitch strike. That's tough as a batter getting behind early. Especially with a pitcher. With the control of that, strike two. Robles, it's a little pop up, and that one's going to drop right in between Robles and her teammate Palamo. So Gomez breaks the streak of strikeouts and Leading off left field here number five Delilah De Los Santos gets on base with the first hit of the night. And we have a rogue sprinkler out in left field. Just the camera a bit. Not sure if you can tell, but a little. Well now we got a little bit of a whack a mole situation going on. There's one in left field, too, isn't there? Yeah, we got another one out. This one actually in the field of play. The other one was just outside of foul territory, spraying in play. And. Ever see the coach out in center field now? We'll take a break here as we try to figure out how to turn the water off. Back to Maynard after this. Slip and slide party is done, and we get back to some softball here. Right. 
D.D. Sorellis lays down the bunt, but is thrown out. Great throw from the Panther defense. Quick recovery. And we head to the top of the fourth. Back after another quick break here on Vipe Live. Leading off for the Panthers, number seven, senior Ambrosia Palomo. Ambrosia Paloma up now with the Panthers leading 1 0 here in Maynard. Sun starting to set. One inside at for two and zero. Oh. Beautiful spring day here in Central Texas. That leads to perfect nights for softball, baseball. Jimenez getting one back there. Seemed to be a little rattled that last inning, giving up the run. Able to only limit it to one. Left one stranded. With fresh bases here, and that one popped up to center and caught Jamie Gomez. Makes a sure handed catch, one out. Next for the Panthers, number 20, Junior, Tori Suniga. Up to the plate now, Tori Zuniga looking to build off her last at bat. Just ahead of that one, pulling it foul. That one missing inside. That's the pitch that brought in the run. Uh, inside corner. Tough one to catch. 
for Ruffin. Contact made there right to shortstop. Great throw. Great extension there. Haley Alvarez getting the second out. Up next for the Panthers, number six, sophomore Brooklyn Smith. Brooklyn Smith looks at one in the dirt. Been a pitcher's duel here. Only three hits for the Panthers, and that one popped up to center and caught out number three. Heading to bottom of the fourth in Maynard, Texas. Coming back here on Vibe Live. Up to bat now, Iris Jimenez. Now, with the count at one and one, Jimenez striking out her first time around. And quickly down one and two. Always tougher for the pitcher to go through lineups a second, third time. Is that one misses high? <laughs> two two got her swinging. Second strikeout for Jimenez. Eighth strikeout for Robles tonight. Following Iris Jimenez, number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Rodriguez Miche. Lining that one to short and bobbled out there. Rodriguez Mache gonna slap out a single. Only two hits on the night. You just saw one of them. Third baseman number twelve, Jaquela Plummer.
Caleb Plummer up now, slaps that one to center field. This one's going to be over the head. Plummer going to stand in the second with a single. Slip there from Rodriguez Mache, and she's going to be thrown out. And now Plummer caught in the pickle. And throw to second dropped. Boy, Plummer bailed out there. Plummer. Well, oh, a slip there from Rodriguez Mache. Now leading to two outs. Plummer on second. Now Demaya Curtis up. And Robles looked untouchable that first time through the lineup now. Giving up a couple hits. And Curtis, you saw her try and kind of tense up and almost reach for that one. She learned her first at bat. Let's that one go by ball two, two and one, two outs. Bottom four, runner on second. And that one in there, two and two. That one slapped to second and tossed to first. No damage. Robles gets out of the jam. And the Panthers will get a chance to extend their lead. Going to the top of the fifth here in Maynard. Stay tuned here on Vipe Live. Leading out for the Panthers, freshman number 10, Abby Lemons. Right, Abby Lemons up now, 0 for 1 on the night. That one slapped into the gap. First pitch. And she's in with a single. Number 13, sophomore, Zanaya Reese. Zanaya Reese already with a hit. 
Been a pitcher's duel here as four hits for the Panthers, three so far for the hometown Mustangs. Robles and Jimenez, the two number ones. That one rifled the third. Throw though too high. And now headed for home is Lemons. She'll score standing triple. For Reese. Out to the plate, junior number one, Delilah Robles. Boy, great snag by Plummer. Just a little too much heat, a little too much air. And that one goes all the way to right field, allowing the speedy Reese to get her second hit into third. In a game where one run feels like two or three. And she'll hold the runner at third. Now the play at home. Slide in. Catch can't be made. And the Panthers will tack on another. Boy, Reese caught in a pickle. And the Panthers leading three to zero now. Next up for the Panthers, number four, Junior Emma Holmes. And that one straight up the middle. Another run's going to score. Just like that, four straight hits. Batting number five, Junior McKenna Ross. Four straight hits for the Panthers. And that one dropped good snag by Ruffin. McKenna Ross reaching on a fielder's choice. Last at bat. That one catches inside, one and one. See if Jimenez can get back that control she had to start this game. That one low. Rough and able to hold the runner at first. Two and one the count. And that one up high, but she chases it and smacks it towards center. Dropped in the outfield. Up to the plate, number 25, freshman Lauren Jackson. So now that is the fifth consecutive hit. Lauren Jackson trying to make it number six. Runners on first and second, no outs. Swings at the first and fouls it back to the fence. Inside. 
Holmes being held at second. Looking to advance on any anything gets past. Destiny roughing behind the plate. And she just gets ahead of that one. Goes foul. One and two the count. Menes fires. That one does get passed, and the runners will advance. Two and two to Jackson. Straight to third. An impressive snag by Plummer. Batting number seven, senior Ambrosia Palomo. That one on a rope, and Jackson falls to 0-3. At the plate. Ambrosia Paloma. Now with one out. First pitch straight into center field. That one's going to roll to the fence. Paloma goes for two. Drives in both base runners. And the Panthers finding their groove here in the fifth. Now lead it 6 to 0. Up next, number 20. Junior Tori Zuniga. Tori Zuniga now up. That one inside. Zuniga having to duck out of the way of that one. Swings at the second. Oh, that took a nasty bounce. Zuniga reaches. Up to the plate, number six, sophomore, Brooklyn Smith. Palomo will hold up at second. Boy, Plummer took that one up high. Took a late bounce. That was traveling fast. Nothing you can do about those. Up now, Brooklyn Smith looking to lay down the bunt and caught by Ruffin. No one covering second. Great awareness, though. Mask on and all from Ruffin. Out next, number 10, freshman, Abby Lemons. Able to get the vital second out. Abby Lemons. I believe started off the inning. It's now back up and swings at the first pitch. This one into the crowd. That one just a bit low. The 1-1 one, one to Lemons. Swung on, headed into foul territory. And unable to make the grab is Katrina Basta. Huge pitch here from Jimenez. Gets her to swing. And another great play by Ruffin. This time the mask does come off. Mask on or mask off, it doesn't matter. Fist bump from the coach. Two huge outs to end the inning. And the bleeding. 
But the Mainer Mustangs got to come up with some offense fast. Headed into the bottom of the fifth. Trailing 6-0. to zero. We'll be back here on Vipe Live. First for the Mustangs, catcher number 14, Destiny Ruffin. Ruffin going from defense to offense now. Trying to make some special plays with the bat. Takes the first one outside. Chases that one up high, strike one. Ruffin catches that one clean, but into foul territory. 2-2. Two -two. Trying to avoid her second strikeout of the night. Robles running into a bit of what would be considered a jam for her tonight. Giving up a couple hits. And rough and fouls that one back. Robles with eight strikeouts so far tonight, giving up three hits. And right back to her, able to knock it down and thrown out is Ruffin. to the play, number eight, first baseman Haley Alvarez. Haley Alvarez up, takes the first one up high. Seems like those first pitch strikes have started to sputter a little bit for Robles. He has the fatigue sets in. Quick bunt attempt goes foul. Looks at strike two. One and two the count. Yeah. 
swung on. And it seems like batter's just getting a piece of it now instead of watching it go by as they swing. Benefits of going through the lineup the second time. Benefits of some fatigue, perhaps to Robles, here in the bottom of the fifth. And just does get another tip on it. Alvarez hanging in tough, one and two. That one just missing. Boy, and Alvarez. Alvarez still fighting on about what seems to be the 12th pitch of the at bat. And swings and misses there. Robles finally winning the duel. So Alvarez strikes out for her second time. Basta trying to avoid the same fate. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Mustangs really needing some offense here. And just like that, two pitches, two strikes, Basta in a hole here. And another strikeout for Robles. Number 10 on the night. And we head to the top of the sixth. Panthers still leading pretty comfortably here. Six to zero. Coming back to Maynard, Texas here on Vipe Live.
seven. For the Panthers, number 13, sophomores, Naya Reese. Sanaya Reese slaps that one foul. Reese. Looking to match her teammate McKenna Ross by reaching base three straight times. I went just a bit high, one and one. That one slapped to short, knocked down and bobbled out there by Rodriguez Mache, and Reese will make it to first. Delilah Robles at the plate, look for Zania Reese to possibly. Steal and a bit high, rounding second, looking to take third. She stands into second. Wonder if Jimenez kind of guessed that was coming, so she tried to set her catcher up, and now Reese will take third. Two pitches and two bases. For Zanai Reese. And now 3 0 to Robles. That one in the dirt for ball four. Just a second walk for Jimenez tonight, and that will bring up Emma Holmes. And Robles will take second. Now runners second and third. No outs. Panthers looking to end this one early. Already up six. This one pulled foul. And going through first part of the lineup for a pitcher, definitely the easiest you're going to get all night. Three, only three hits for Jimenez. Only about five hits. Going through this, through the inning twice. Pass ball. Reese will come in to score. Robles into third. Mentioned two times through the through the order, and she, Jimenez gives up five hits. Third time through the order, gives up six hits alone. And time called by Ruffin. Runner at third. Pitcher looking a little out of sorts here. Three and one.
take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. Where you can grab all the latest styles and sports gear from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, Vans to make this year your best year yet. So shop online or in stores at Academy Sports and Outdoors or online at academy.com three and one to Holmes and she rips that one past Plummer run comes in to score it is now eight to nothing I believe I heard a pinch runner. So Holmes will come out. Pinch running for Emma Holmes is Sarah Laurel, sophomore number nine. Sarah Laurel coming in to do base running duties. As we have another timeout at the mound, this time coach involved. Looks like we had some equipment issues being fixed for the catcher. We're also going to have a pitching change here. Haley Alvarez takes the mound.
Pitching change, having the mound, number eight, Haley Alvarez. This pitching change is brought to you by your chores. Have you done them? And by the library, literally where you get all of your answers. First pitch from Alvarez in the dirt, 1-0. Looking at a tall mountain to climb here. This is a Panther offense that has been red hot. Only failing to reach base three times the last 11 at-bats. Actually, can go back further than that. Last 14 at bats. That one inside. Quick 3 and 0. Oh. To McKenna Ross at the plate. And four pitch walk. McKenna Ross reaches base for the fourth time tonight. Up next, number 25 freshman, Lauren Jackson. And Lauren Jackson looking for her first hit and her first first time on base tonight takes strike one. And a pass ball. Runner's going to advance. Second and third now. No outs. 1-1 one, one to Jackson. That one down low. Good snag by Ruffin. Saw a few of those go by earlier, scoring some runs. Alvarez sets, fires, swung on and dropped. Perfect placement from Jackson. The throw home. It's going to be in time but dropped. Two runs will score Jackson. Going to stand in at third. Next to the Panthers, number seven, senior Ambrosia Palomo. Ambrosia Palomo. One for three tonight with a strikeout. And Jackson will be pinch run four on third. Boy, that one sailing over the head of Palomo.
Quick 2-0. Goes down and digs for that one. Tried to keep the runner at third and does. Palomo will reach. And Tori Zuniga comes up. Two for three on the night. That one watched in for strike one. Alvarez just trying to find that control. Trying to build off of the strike there. Still no outs. Giving up a couple runs and that one foul tipped. Now one and two. Two pitch swung on and missed. For the first out. Brooklyn Smith up now. Excuse me, number six sophomore Brooklyn Smith. Smith still looking for her first hit of the night. Jackson got a triple on hers. And Smith quickly watches two go by. Two and oh. Runners are still at the corners. Panthers putting up two runs. This inning so far, just with the one out. That one upstairs. Four pitch walk to Smith. Bases loaded. Freshman number 10, Abby Lemons. Infield coming in. Together now to conference. That one 
Knocked down by second. Throw is off target. One run. Now two runs will score. Lemons heads into second. Smith will advance to third. Next up for the Panthers, number 13, sophomores, Zania Reese. Zania Reese up to bat. This is the last person you want to see if you're Maynard Mustangs. Three for three on the night. And even when she only gets one base, she usually steals another, sometimes two. That one down low. 2 0. Oh. Still just one out. And this is getting into danger territory. If it's not already. As it stands, made her down to their last three outs. Still trying to find two outs in this inning. 3-0 to Reese. And that one's outside. Another four-pitch walk. Reese will reach base for the fourth straight time. Lead off hitter number one, Junior, Delano Robles. And we go back to the top of the lineup. <laughs> Robles, one for three and a walk tonight. That one... Skips to the catcher. Alvarez just having a hard time finding the strike zone. And she finds it there. One and one to Robles. Swung on and missed. One and two. Panthers have been much patient batters here. But swinging and missing is that one. And that one way over the head of Ruffin. And Smith will come in to score. Runners advancing to second and third. Score now 13 to 0. 2 2 count to Robles. And just the one out. Already five runs scored here in the top of the sixth. Boy, and that one almost looked like it was going to hit her. She ended up turning on it, pulling it foul. I suppose Robles would prefer the foul ball as opposed to a softball straight in the shoulder. Full count now. This one fouled back over the home dugout, keeping bats alive. Swung on, popped up to center, and in for the out. Runners, runner will go to third. Runners 
Reese held up at second. Fourteen to zero, and that will be the ball game. So that will retire the side. For the six, we will go to the bottom of the six now with the score 14 to zero. Maynard down to their last three outs to put up something spectacular here. And it looks like we'll have a pitching change for the visitors. It's like Zania Reese will try her hand at pitching. Pitching change for the Panthers. Number 13 sophomores, Naya Reese. for the Mustangs, center fielder, sophomore, number two, Jamie Gomez. Jamie Gomez up to bat for her second at bat to finish off the second half of the lineup. First pitch swung on straight to short and that will get one out. Gomez now sitting one for two on the night. Top of the lineup for the Mayor Mustangs. Left fielder, number five, Delilah De Los Santos. De Los Santos. Up to bat now. Still looking for her first hit. Struck out the first time. Lays down a bunt here. First baseman comes to catch it and throws to the cover. Quick two outs for Maynard. Up to the plate for the Maynard Mustangs pitcher, senior number one, Iris Jimenez.
one and one to Jimenez. Down to their last out here. Hard to imagine, but this game was one to zero for the longest time before the Panther bats caught fire. Quickly scored five runs in what I believe was the fourth inning. Adding on a couple more, and that one lined to first. That will end the game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the ball game today. With the score, your Maynard Mustang zero. Visiting Panthers. Panthers 14. Come Good in and light up the scoreboard 14 to zero. Connolly High School here at Maynard High School. We wish everybody a good night. Have a great Next weekend. game Have for each team while we wrap much. up here. Maynard going to go out to Bastrop on the 29th. Pflugerville will face crosstown rival Pflugerville Weiss at 7. Also on the 29th. Pflugerville extending their winning streak to 4. Improving to 5-1 and one in district play. 9-13 and 13 overall. Maynard is going to fall to two and four in the district six and twelve overall that'll do it here from Manor, texas for tyler alsis we thank you for staying up late with us here on this friday night hope you tune in for more future broadcasts here on vibe live that'll do it final score pflugerville 14 Manor zero Thank you for watching on Vibe Live. We'll see you next time.